We've been in the new house about 10 days now. Uh, there's been a lot of work emptying boxes and stuff. Um, but it's coming along. Rosie is concentrating on the house. I'm concentrating on the shed. And we've done a few little projects around the place. I'll give you a look in a minute. But um, we're settling in well. We're getting the feel of the house. We're getting to know our way around a lot better. Uh, we're picking up the little flaws and faults that need rectifying eventually. Uh, but thankfully there aren't too many. Uh, yesterday down in Ashling's studio, she noticed the sink was leaking underneath. So I had to go to Bunnings for a $2.50 washer. And when I changed the washer, that fixed it straight away, no problem. And the old washer that was used in the first place was the wrong type. So, simple fix. Uh, put up a fence to keep the dogs in the backyard. What else? Anyway, I'll show you around a bit. Our lounge suite actually fit in the room. Uh, we haven't attached the pieces together at this stage because we want to figure out what works best. Currently it seems to be okay though. We've got the rubbish bins inside because we're doing so much disposal that it's just handier to have them in here. This little pantry is organized. I mean, reasonable amount of storage there. It's a very small kitchen. These cabinets on top are actually really small. Which is a bit odd because there's so much space above them that you could have put bigger cabinets there. Not so much on this side because the aircon is in the way. It's a good dishwasher that we inherited. I uh, don't think we've used the cooker yet, but we have used the cooktop, which is an induction cooktop. And we keep a rubber mat over it to protect it from chipping or whatever. Uh, that's our own fridge. We inherited a fridge here in the house as well, which is now our beer, beer fridge out in the shed. This is our bathroom. Nice and big. This across here is bedroom number four. Not quite sorted out yet, but Rosie bought a new desk to put in the corner for herself to look after the contact books. So the plan for that fourth bedroom is to block that door Put the door over here so that it's in line with the kitchen. Inside there on the right will be kitchen cupboards. On the left will be laundry cupboards. And on the back side of that wall will be Rosie's uh, office. But that's a longer term plan. But one of the first major product projects that I'm quite keen to tackle actually. Bedroom three is still a disaster area. Bedroom two is not much better. Second half bath, not much to say about this. It's, um, it's not huge, but it's not small either. Our bedroom is semi decluttered at the moment. It's uh, looking pretty good. It's a reasonable size too, which is good. 
Another project I have in mind is to take that wardrobe out, make a maybe slightly bigger walk-in wardrobe, and then punch a hole through that wall into the main bathroom and make that our ensuite. Here's another wee project that should be easy to do or easy-ish, but obviously there used to be a door just here. Still got the frame and everything, but it's not actually required as a door. There is no door there and it makes the hallway a little bit narrower. So what I think we'll probably do is take out the two side bits and make a, a decorative arch there. Meanwhile, down in the shed, I can actually see some floor again. Got these shelving units from Bunnings, just so I could get some boxes off the floor, so I could work in here. Got two biggish ones and one smallish one. That cupboard in the corner is full now as well, temporarily. That cupboard will be coming out eventually in my grand plan, but for now it just gets me some floor space back. Uh, I've inherited some furniture. That one was a TV cabinet in Ashling's room and she doesn't want it. I've got a bookcase from the pantry and possibly another one coming down as well. Uh, but everything's sort of in order at the moment. And I'm about to do my first cut, cut my first piece of wood in my new shop. Because I need to make a French cleat so I can hang up my Ozito power station. That definitely needs a new blade but it got the job done for me now that one drove in well because I think it's a timber post I've hit that one didn't because I think it might be steel. So I'll have to do something else with that. So that little thought necessitated another reshuffle so I could get at the tools. I didn't even know I put them in that cupboard. But, and logically I shouldn't have because now I need access to the cupboard. So they might have to come out again and just put junk in there. Anyway, I found a self-drilling roof nail screw. I am surprised. Now I can get all my batteries charged. with that the start of many many more little projects just to get me up and running oh, are you are recording now yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs>
Has to be a genuine reaction. Though. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <gasps> oh, look at that window. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful flowers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that looks like a grand shed out there, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Where's the shed? Oh, for God, it's a huge shed. That's a massive shed. Oh, right. Yeah. 